Coming up on this episode of Repo Man Uncut. You saved your life, but yeah, it's a Get in the truck and block the exit. Yeah. You can stay here till midnight. You're no way you having this car. Stay, stay down there. Stay down there. Get out of here. They're taking the truck. Wait. Have you just paid for my car? Man, I can't believe he's done that. Sean James is one of Britain's most successful repossession agents. A Gulf War veteran whose life has led him into and out of hundreds of dangerous situations. No, 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 no. With 17 years of recovering property for finance companies and a complete lack of any healthy fear for his own safety, the repo man has built his reputation on succeeding where other repossession companies have failed. You fucking idiot! All right, mate. Even the repo man needs backup, and that often comes in the form of X Forces Marine H. Let me get out. No, no, get out. Oh, here we go again. The guy we're looking for today has a track record of not keeping up payments. We haven't been to him ourselves, but when other agents have been before, he's always squared up with that. He's fallen into heavy arrears again, so we've got to pay him a visit. Found the on the left. Let's look for a track. That's a road going down there, isn't it? There's one here. Let's go down this one. Yeah, this looks like this looks like a track, doesn't it? He's got a black Mazda RX-8. So with any luck, we're going to turn up and he's going to pay us just like he did with the other agents. But if he doesn't, we've got to be prepared to hook it up and take it away. That looks nice, doesn't it? That's a little baby! <laughs> Money in the bank. You can't actually box a car in because of the way it's parked. My best alternative now is to position my truck in between the gates, box it in. Right, let's go and see him right. Same old as before. You go and stand by the car. You stand by the car, H. Alright. Yeah, you can stand by the car. I'll go and give him a knock. Usual routine. I jump out and secure the vehicle, just to stop people from jumping in and driving off. I'll also check to see if it's open. Makes our job easier, but if it's not, then we've got to go into the customer to get the keys off it. Hello. Paul Rogers? Yes. Yeah, we're from Latitude Finance. Got a repossession order on that vehicle? Uh, that's been sorted already, mate. No, I think it got sorted last time. There was another repossession agency here, but it's still no, outstanding fine. We've done it with the solicitor. It's all, been, it's all been sorted. Yeah, but it's up to you to sort it out, not the solicitors. No, my solicitor handles the financial affairs. Yeah, I think he might have sorted it out last time, but there's still outstanding finance again now. There can't be. He's, he's sorted it all out. The reason there's a repossession order on the vehicle. Just, you have to wait there. Please. So let's just wait here a minute. I think he's ringing someone. Wait! <laughs> right, speak to my solicitor now. Mate, it's under Age Protection Act. I'm dealing with you. It's your name on the no, agreement. They do one with my financials. Speak to my solicitor now. Hello? 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 I've been back to my name's Jeff Oaks. Oh. Um, can I help you? Yeah, well, well I can't really speak to you because under the Data Protection Act, I mean, I'm dealing with you, I'm dealing with Paul Rogers. Right, well, I, I deal with all, all financial matters on behalf of Paul Rogers. Yeah, but you could be anyone on the end of the phone, couldn't you? Because I'll pass you back to Paul. If he wants to give you the details of a finance company and tells right. you how much he arrears is, that's down to him. But at the end okay. of the day, we have got to deal with Paul. Okay, here's the phone back. I can't speak to you. What, what, are these, what are these details here? Can, can you just sort this out for me? I thought we'd already sorted this out. It, it's down here. La Have you got a pen? Under the Data Protection Act, we're not allowed to discuss the client's details or the customer's details with anyone else. It's between us and the customer. Okay, I'll get on to them now. Calm down, keep, don't, don't upset them. Come on. I'll try, I'll try. They're a bit aggressive, this lot. Mate, hey, I haven't been aggressive at all. You have. When have I been aggressive? Gee, you just 
What do you mean you slammed the door in my face twice? Well, what do you expect coming around here knocking my door like this is a joke, isn't it? All right, mate, just speak to your solicitor. All right, I'll sort this out. Okay. He slammed the door in my face. He says I'm being aggressive. He's given no indication of what he wants to do about the arrears. I've given him enough time now. He's got five minutes, then I'm hooking it up. Bloke's an idiot, mate. Apparently, we're being aggressive. Probably the calmest I've seen Sean for a long time. And he still gets called over aggressive. I said we'll give him five minutes. He said he doesn't even want you near the car. Has he got the keys, right? Oh, do you know what, mate? I don't even ask him. Bloke's an idiot. I'll just hook it up. He ain't going to give us the keys. I don't even hook it up from the front, look. Wheels. Wheels not straight, is it? No. That's going to be a nightmare. We're going to have to turn yeah. that round. Oi! Fatty, I've told you to get away from me car. <laughs> my solicitor, do you understand the word solicitor is dealing with this? I've told you this. Are you thick? Mate, my car's up for repossession. Hey, it's all sorted. The solicitor, in your brain. You've been on them steroids too much, you can't even think anymore, can you? Just because of train, people always say, oh, you're on steroids, oh, you're a meathead. You know, at the end of the day, they put half as much effort in as they did taking the mick out of us for paying for their car. They wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. It's not going, I've told you this, anyway. The solicitor is dealing with this. It's Mate, all been paid for. All right, OK, how I understand times, you've no, got a solicitor. Times do have to, how many times do I have to tell you? It's been paid for. The car is paid for. How many times do I have to tell you if it's got free possession? It's not. It can't be. It's paid for. I've just given you my solicitor on the phone. He's sorted it out. And he's still here messing around. You know, I don't need this today. Of all days. You know what I mean? You spoke to the solicitor. Is he thick or something? I don't know how many times he's called us thick, but who's a thick one having his car took off him? You don't <laughs> understand. The man has told you it's been sorted. Now you're telling me you want the car still. The car's up for repossession. We haven't no, had a phone call from the finance case. How the car be up for repossession when it's been paid for? Right, I'll just check then. Your solicitor hasn't paid, OK? He, has, he, has. he well, hasn't paid. He hasn't paid. Finance coming. Give me a agreement on it. Right, put it on loudspeaker so you can hear it. Hello, speaking. Yeah, hello, Sam. Sean here. I'm with Mr Rogers. Apparently, he said his solicitor's paid. No, yeah, he I'm, has. I'm on the phone to the now. Has he no. made a payment yet or not? No, he hasn't. Well, there you go. OK, right, I'll ring you back later. Give me okay. a ring. Give me, give me a ring as soon as the solicitor's paid. Or he's going to make a payment. That's if it does exist. I just think we're having a runaround. As soon as you get a yeah, phone call, run around. as soon as you get a phone call, give us a ring. Of course, I will. All right, bye. Well, there you go. He hasn't paid, has he? No, yeah. So, yeah. do you want to stay empty and stuff out of the car? You get this all the time. The customer says they've paid, or it's a finance company's fault. Well, what, if I get this stuff out now, I've got to get it back. I'll put it back in again in a bit, anyway. It's always complete rubbish. It's a stalling tactic. I'm going to move it out of the way. No, mate, you ain't moving the vehicle, just in case you try and drive it off. Well, I want to get through that. You'd probably just go through the fence knowing you, mate. I was hoping for a simple, quick visit today, collect payment and go. But I'm really getting nowhere. I need to hook this car up and go. I ain't emptying the car. What do you think I'm stupid? Can you get off my car, please? Come on, get off. You ain't going to go anywhere, mate. What do you mean? And you, the pair of you, just go. For God's sake, I can't stand this anymore. I want you to just leave my property now before I call the police. Stay emptying the car, mate, as we're breaking. I'm not emptying it. You can stay here till midnight. You're no way you having this car. Stay until midnight. We just hook it up. You won't. Have, you won't. You won't have a chance. You ain't having this car. I can tell you that. Now. I've had enough There's of this. Yeah, hey, stop here. I'm going to go and get a truck. Right. Watch this, then. Don't let him anywhere near the vehicle. You ain't having it, son. Don't let him anywhere near the vehicle. Oi! I'm getting nowhere with this guy. He's got no intention of paying the finance. He's more likely to jump in the car, drive it through a fence. He can take this up with a finance company and get his car back if he pays. It's not my job to discuss payments. I can hear Sean bringing the truck down, but I've got to stay on guard. I've got to keep eyes on this guy just in case he gets some daft idea of throwing himself at the back of the truck. Oh, 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 oh. Are you trying to get death by a truck or something? No, it's assault. I've just, just off saved me. your life, but yeah, it's assault. Yeah. People do that. Then they call the police, get us arrested. End result, they keep the car assault. for a bit longer. Let me save my life. It's all I'm getting on my so again. So you run to the back of a truck and trying to get run over is not saving your life? No. Really? No, it's not. So I should have just left you? It's assault. Mate, you can't go beyond the back of a truck, can you? We see this time and time again. All we can do is just try and keep it calm and get on with that job. Gave your ample opportunity to empty your car out and now you haven't got a choice. No, you'll get, you're going to get your stuff in the middle. All right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll empty it. All right, I'll empty it. What's he doing, H? He's emptying the car. Listen, you, you, you're thick. As thick as pig shit, you pair. Mate. I'll empty the car, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Look what I've got anyway. I mean, what do you do running around 
Nick what do you mean, what have you got? Living. What I'll kind be, of living is this? I'll be nicking the cars. I'm joking, it. I'll be nicking the cars. Just you I'll okay, have okay, so you stuff. saying, what have you got? She live in a nice big house. Can't afford for your car, can you? This is a joke. Just empty your car. I'll have my stuff. And take it. All right, this dude's emptying his car, but I still don't trust him. But he's still got his keys, so I've got to keep eyes on him just in case he decides to jump in his car and drive oh, off. Oh, you can empty the car, but can I have the car keys, please? You can wait, I've told you. Wait. Look, you get what you want. Very, very patient with you, pair and all this. He's been patient with us. I think it's the other way around. Get out of there, you. He would test the patience of a bishop on Valium. I ain't letting you go anywhere near this stuff, you lot. Just one from cancer, you'd probably rub the lot, wouldn't you? First, it's calling us thick. Now we're a bunch of thieves. So have we got everything out of the front of the car, sir? I, I think so. Just don't start nicking things, you. And what are we going to really? nick? So now, so now we're thieves, are we? Well, I wouldn't put it past you. Hey, it's just that car, mate. Right. One of the other golden rules in repoing is if someone's emptying their car and they're gobbling off to you, calling you every name under the sun, it doesn't matter, they're emptying their car. Let them get on with it because in about five minutes' time, you'll be driving it off down the road. Finally, this dude stuff's out of the car, but still remains to be seen if we get the keys right in the hassle. Mate, right, you're going to give us the keys? Just give me a couple of minutes, mate. You can have them. Just give me a couple of minutes. Please. I'm just going to go and block the entrance again. Just don't let him start the engine. He still hasn't given us the keys. He says he's going to hand them over and give them a minute, but that never happens. I'm going to be on my guard on this one. Yeah. You can get that then. Hey. What are you going to do with that? Nothing. I'll talk to you anyway. Oh. You happy with that, mate? Sounds good, then, isn't it, mate? Yeah. I've got something else for you as well, you knob. Yeah, yeah. Petrol analyzer. Oh, H, H. Fucking come did here, you do mate. physics at school, did you? Hey, have you got your phone on you? Record him. There you go. Hey. Hey, are you recording this? Have this your pair of prats. I've got H to record this. Honestly, I can't believe what I'm seeing. This fool is probably going to claim we done it. Fucking hell! Wow. What's wrong with you? I didn't expect that. You fucking idiot! You can have it now. Drinking of it now, look at it! Yeah. You wanted the car. I'm guessing that had a full tank of petrol, judging by the speed it went up. <laughs> Tires are blown, windows are blown, can't get near the car. We're just gonna have to chill and wait till it dies down. It's a good thing no other vehicles or buildings are close by. This dude's just an absolute nutter. I'll have to ring finance company, mate. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this one. I'll Mate, go back to your house. I've got you on camera setting this thing alight. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, what? Yeah, well, Mate, do one. Go, just go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that Carol? It is. Oh, you're never going to guess what. You're never going to guess what either. Mr. Rogers' solicitor's just paid in full. Mr. Rogers' solicitor's just paid. All right, then. Are you sure? Did he, pay, did he do a Bax payment? It wasn't a credit card, was it? It was Bax. It's gone through my Bax payment. 100%? 100%. I can see it in my bank account now. All right, I'll ring you back in a minute. OK. Guess what, H, come here. Why have you got a sign in your face? Guess what, dickhead? Your solicitor has just paid for your car. That car's yours, mate. You can have it back, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like a quote for a paint job on that. Maybe if I wasn't so thick, I'd be able to put it out. See that, mate? Nice to do business with you. Right, let's leave him with his barbecue. Hope he's got some sausages in the house. Have you just paid for my fucking car? 
Man, I can't believe you've done that, man. Coming up, some off-road vehicles take Sean for a bit of a ride, and Lee and H take charge of their first repo. The next job is two vehicles, so we need a third agent. Bex and H can secure the vehicles while I deal with the customer. All right. You ready, Hello. Man? Yeah, hi. Baby sitter here? Yep. Hello, little toodle tums. You coming out today with us? Oh. Here, H, you're a new apprentice. <laughs> your new apprentice. Say <laughs> bye, Daddy. Bye. Bye. Hold oh. on. Come on, Take him with us. <laughs> Go through the cuteness factor. <laughs> yeah, right today, then. This bloke called Dean Folds. He owns two customs. Oh, look, I was just telling H. This bloke today, Dean Folds, he owns two custom Land Rovers. Look at that. Oh, brilliant. Fancy yeah. that, H? Oh, great one. <laughs> that looked good on your drive, wasn't it? Yeah, well, basically, if they're custom, like, I don't know, Land Rovers, whatever they bloody are. So, we know what track we're going to be on. They're on the farm. They're there every afternoon. Um, there's a, a motocross. You now, when they got the big ramps and down, yeah. they train on that. So, it's a proper motocross mm. track for training on. How many people there? Or just, Don't know. Just I've just got so. a clue. We all know as they're training there this afternoon. So, let's get on with it. All right, let's get cool. going. Who's going in the middle? The better. I like my 4x4s and I cannot wait to have a go in this one. Is he surfing one of those trucks in H? Yeah, I like that green one. You like the green one? Yeah, I've been it. I like the green one, so the green one is mine. H, can I have the orange one? <laughs> I'll fight for it. Oh, game you're, on. You're actually going to fight for it, H? Listen, I know I'll probably get my ass kicked, but yeah, still, I'll fight for it. Yeah, fight for it. Okay, fight it. Yeah. Start left. <laughs> Son. Yeah, but then <laughs> but the thing is, what? If you fight Bex, yeah. then I'm gonna have to fight you. I'm, oh, not, gonna, I'm not gonna let you fight me, Mrs. Nah, that's tag team. No, 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 no. That's that. Looks like you're driving the orange one. We're supposed to be brothers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bex is an excellent agent. She used to come out with us everywhere, all the time. But as you know, kids come first. But yeah, it's good to have her back on the team. That's a nice day for a bit of off-roading. If you're going to turn up, we're going to say, sorry lads, mistake, our fault, we filled up with fuel for you. Sorry lads, here you go, and lasses, and Repo X. Are you a Repo man or a Repo X? I like that. You're repo X. This place is a farm. Yeah. And you can actually see the, you can actually see the track, it looks nice. It's a proper track for uh, dirt, dirt bikes, are they called dirt bikes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirt bikes, whatever so they do, motocross, isn't it? So it's a pretty big track. Motocross, yeah. You used to do motocross, didn't you, H? I know how to cross dressing, wasn't it? What's <laughs> <laughs> the secret? Man. I wondered where my heels have gone from under the stairs. And then they broke the neck on When we get there, obviously we're going to have to secure them, so you two just try and secure each vehicle. H, you've got the orange one. X, you've got the green one. That's a favouritism. H, you're not one I get to bed with every night, so <laughs> until that changes. <laughs> <laughs> What's that say? Fun uh, Welcome to Bass Motocross and it off road. Yep. As we pulled up to the farm, we could hear a lot of revving coming from those beasts. They've obviously put some pretty powerful engines in those machines. I can see my green one. It looks a fantastic piece of kit. I'm quite looking forward to driving it. I don't think Sean will let me do the jumps. The orange one's right over the far side, but the green one's right here, right in front of us. My green one. My green one. That's definitely there, but how are we going to stop them? I think it's how are you going to stop that? Yeah. Going to speed. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, we're going to stop that! Mom, I'm going to have to get down there and oh. back him down. Quick, oh, stop, look, he's broke. Stop, let's go and get him. I'm sure them bets can deal with that dude. I'll keep an eye out, just in case the orange one comes back around. Oh, all well, right, turn this off. Wait, wait, let's see what I've done to it. He's Dean Fowl. Get it over you. We've got a repossession order. I know for what's going on, mate. There's nothing owing on it. There is stuff owing on it. I don't think there okay, is. Okay, try get out, mate. Yeah. Let's see what I've done to it. Have a look, mate. You broke it, but it's up for repossession. Do you mean, Rupert, there's no finance owing on it? There is nothing, finance on it! There's nothing owing on it! There's finance on it! Just calm yourself! Where's the orange one? The orange one's going as well. It's been going? and the orange one. There's no finance owing on it, There is finance on it! There's nothing on this truck! There's nothing on this truck! Don't even start pushing me, alright? There's nothing! Don't even start nothing pushing me! On this truck. Nothing! You are not taking that! Mate, don't take it out on me because you just jumped your truck! It's your fault! There's right. nothing on it! Don't, don't even think about it! There's nothing on it! Oh, you want to go now then, do you? Oh boy. Ooh, he will be sore in the morning. All right, Bex, come here. Take this arm. Take this arm. I might not be as strong as him, but I've learnt some pretty good moves along the way, and I can keep him occupied for as long as we need. Oh, 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 You've got him. Mate, your arm's going to break. If not, stay up. Hey, where's the orange one? Don't worry, worry about it. Okay, break it. Yeah, it's just struggling. <laughs> You're right there, Get job. Oh, I'm going just fine. Ah. It's going to hurt more if you keep struggling. Ah. Calm down. There he is over there. That's the one. We have to wait for him to come round. He's going to have to stop when he gets here, isn't he? He hasn't got a choice, mate. All right, let's wait for him then. He's coming round. He's coming round. Sean, H and Bex have had a tip off the two custom built 4x4s are at a motocross practice track. After taking the opportunity when one car comes to a halt, they need to wait for the second vehicle to make its way around the track. There he is over there. Let's wait for him then. He's coming round, he's coming round. You gonna calm down? Yeah, just get off me. Don't try that again, alright? Get off me. You're not gonna try and pull a stunt like that again? No. If I let you go, you're not gonna mess around? No, get off. Try that again, mate, I'll break your arm. Yeah, whatever. And stay where you are. Bex, let him up. Yeah, Call your mate now. Lee! Get him down here now. Lee! Oh, he's going to go for the exit. H, get in the truck and block the exit. Lee, Lee, get out of here. You can take the truck. Go on. Get out. That's the exit blocked. He, he ain't going nowhere. Now it's time to give the others a hand. In 
situations like this, we just have to give chase. I just hope that Sean can hold on. This guy was going fast. I couldn't scream, I couldn't shout. All my energy was going into holding on. My arms were hurting, my grip was starting to loosen. It wasn't as if I was going on even ground. I was going over bumpy ground. And to make it worse, the guy started snaking the truck. I could see Bex and H coming up in the truck behind me. And all I could think of, if I fall off this, I'm dead. I needed to trap them so we could put a stop to this, but I was so worried about Sean going under the wheels of the truck, I had to be careful. Finally, we found an opportunity to get him into a dead end. And he fell for it. The oldest trick in the book. That hurt. Get the f yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. Get, get, get the keys. Ah. What are you trying at? Looks like I'm going to have my chiropractor on speed dial for a week or two. No, maybe about a month. What do you think you're playing at? What are you doing? Stop attacking me, Walter. That's oh, a finance company. Get up! Hello? Is that Sean? Yeah, speaking. Dude, I'm going for today on your mind. Yeah, we're just with Dean Folds at the moment. We've got both of them. It's all been paid for, mate. What do you mean he's paid for them? It's all been paid for. Dean's paid to him. Yeah, 500 for the repo. And then he's paid the full amount on the instalments? Yeah, yeah, all been paid for. He's just all been paid, mate. Can you believe that? The bloke's just paid in full. Yeah. <sighs> all right then, mate. So, sorry for the inconvenience, mate. Sorry. Did we get any trouble? Yeah, you could say that. Cheers, Josh. All right, cheers, mate. I'll talk to you later. H, let him up, mate. They're paid. Mate, I'm getting that and I'd go after doing that to me. Well, that's just typical, isn't it? After doing all of that, Sean being taken round a field at 60 miles an hour, H on the floor, rolling around, the customer pays. Well, the green one's broken anyway, so let's just go home. Well, Sean will be sore for a few weeks, but then at least we got paid. Can you believe that? <laughs> Off! Oh, let's just go. <laughs> he turned around, did you get any trouble? Really? Well, was that a trick question, was it? He turned around and goes, did you get any trouble? <laughs> no, we were fine. That's yeah, all right. Oh, man, the back. Can you believe that? No. Can you honestly believe that? That's a joke. Coming up, Sean takes a diplomatic approach to dealing with the problem for Lee, before letting him and H take the lead on a Subaru repossession. But if you want to get your stuff out of the car, because we're taking it. Going to try something a little bit different today. Lee's been on quite a few repos with me now. H has been with me for 10 years. It's time for him to step up, take charge of her first repo. Picking Lee up from the gym and off to get H. Yeah, it's you and H today. Obviously, I'll step in if I'm needed, but more than capable. I'm going to sit back and watch. It'd be nice to actually have a day off once in a while. No problem. So, just going to go and get H now. Got, Got a bit of a, an issue, really. Something. My um, auntie's rang me about five times today. Um, she's got this little tow rag that keeps parking outside her house. Or blocking part of her drive off, she can't get out. It's not been a major thing, but she's asked him to move a few times. But I think he's deliberately making it difficult for her now. I think he's enjoying Why don't he it. park on his own house? That's, that's the question I want to ask him. But he's started to use a bit of language now, he's started to swear at her. And um, even though she don't want me to go around, if he's swearing at her, then I'm, I'm going around and he's... Uh, He's being dealt with. Yeah, but you can't deal with it, can you? You're too close, it's your family. Yeah, well, that makes it more of a reason for me to go and deal with it. But the thing is, she keeps saying, don't, 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 but then she's where, ringing, so... Where does she live? Teddy Chesney now, you're up, um, up by the petrol station. Can't just go now. 
Is she really scared? She's really she not scared, she's just upsetting it and it's upsetting me now. Can you calm yourself down? Let's go and have a look. Let's go and see your auntie. What, are you going to go now? Yeah, let's go and see her. It's on the way, mate. It's on the way. It's just going out and quite worried with him, mate. Yeah, okay. He'd probably be a bit more tactful than me. I just feel like ripping his head off. Lee is normally calm and quite placid. For this to be playing on his mind, he must be quite worried. He's part of a crew now, so his problem is my problem. I'm normally quite a diplomatic person, but uh, with it being family, my auntie, I'm just a bit concerned I'll fly off the handle and do something I'll regret later. It's nice of Sean to, to help out and step in. Uh, it was only after a bit of advice, really, but he's been dealing with this kind of thing for a lot longer than I have, so it's, uh, it's nice to have him around. It's that one there. Just in front of this courtesy car. Oh, no car on the drive. Let's hope she's in. TV's on. Is Can't it? See Auntie Hosk. We're calling her Auntie Hosk. <laughs> Go and you lead the way. Show my auntie. We're seeing an adopted auntie. Hello. I better shout it to me as I come through the door. She's got enough on her plate at the moment than having two repo men walk through a door. This is my friend, Sean. All right. We'll be popping and have a little chat with your friend next door. Oh, yes, yes. He's been, uh... Is he in, is he? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think he is at the moment. So where's your parking, then? I'll show you. Not where that one was Best parked? I'll show you. Well, not that far over. He parks over my drive as well, partly so over Over this my bit drive. here? Yeah. In the... Then halfway across you, the So he parks there. over your thing? We've still got 20 minutes before we're due to pick H up. Let's just hang around, see if this kid shows up. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah, get the kettle on. My auntie's 75, she could do without this stress. It uh, makes you sad and annoyed that people can be so rude uh, to someone as vulnerable as that. So with a bit of luck, we'll sort this uh, little boy out. Yes, please, I'd, be, I'd appreciate it if you can. Don't normally drink tea in strangers' houses, but I'm sure I can trust Lee's auntie. Hang on, mate. That's nice, isn't it? What's the tennis? Yeah, what's the tennis? It's the quarterfinals. Trying to pull away in the two higher gear. It's. No, it's not pulling up. No, not going to. What colour car does that kid have next door? Um, it's a red one, but I don't know what make it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's good it's enough. It's a red one. A little, a little, a little, bit. A little, a little red one. Yeah, I'm late. I'm just going to go and put my jumper in the car. Hey, mate. What are you doing parking across here? What's he got to do with you? What do you mean what's he got to do with me? Get to the garage. What's wrong with your car? Poorly. <laughs> now, sir, are you parking over the drive? Half there, half there. You tell me. <laughs> you, tell me. <laughs> you want something repossessing? Tell me. Yes. <laughs> You're missing the tennis? The tennis is on, isn't it? I'll tell you what, get back in there, get in your car and fuck off! Or well, you can just turn them. Well, you see these grabby cues, you know. You've seen oh, I've seen them, I've seen them with the queue for hours, normally in the pouring rain. The television. You're all right, mate. I thought you put your jacket in the car. Ah, uh, that's all right. Mmm. Sweetness. Yeah, I'm looking after you. Fine, shall we shoot off then and go and get H? You're not going to wait for this lad to turn up? Oh, I've just had a word of his dad, it's fine. His dad's a nice bloke. Like I said, we didn't want to cause you any trouble. We just had a nice chat with his dad. His dad said sorry about everything. What, he's going to sort it? Yeah, his dad's apologised to him. Sure? And said, yeah, oh, okay. shoot off. I never thought of speaking to the family, but I heard they were just as troublesome as he was. But just goes to show. All right, was he? Yeah, he's all right. I'm glad I brought Sean along now. I'm not sure I'd have handled it as calmly and simply as he did. And I probably just made things worse. First lesson of the day learned, and I'm sure it won't be the last. Right, then we go and get H, and then you and H can not do a repo. I'll be in the background, but it'd be nice for you two to. Does that mean I'm going to knock the door because he doesn't H knock? H never doors? knocks the door. I don't mind knocking the door. Ask for a person. Say it's going to be repo. They say they've paid. They've said that the standing order's been cancelled. They say this. They say that. You just turn around and say, look, whatever's gone. I'm not here to chat to you. All I'm asking you for is to come to your stuff, and that's it. So we're not here for a no, debate? No, no conversation. Right. If you start saying they've paid and then they're getting their bank statements out, right. and then they're ringing their bank manager, then they tell you what colour the bank manager's dog is, right? and then, oh, then they ring their friend who's a solicitor. <laughs> Everyone's got a friend who's a solicitor. So cut all that yeah. bit out. 
Well, the one on this one is, he's a builder, he's moved away from his house, but basically someone's just grassed him up. And what, where he's working? Work. Yeah, oh. working in the evenings. Oh. Been working here for the last week, laying block paving, oh. and apparently he's here for another two weeks. You'll be surprised how many people grass each other up. So he's a builder turning up in a Subaru? Yeah. <laughs> Class builder. It's quite a big honour that Sean lets me knock the door on this one. Um, I know everyone laughs and jokes at that, but H has never knocked the door ever. But uh, I really do need to step up at this moment. <coughs> hey there, mate. Hey, hey, mate. Right, what we're going to do today, you and Lee are going to do like reef on your own. I'm going to supervise. Lee's actually said he's going to knock the door. Really? Here you are. Well, you under, won't, yeah. under, my wing, <laughs> under my wing today. And you staying in the car. You're going to be all right being in charge today? Of course I am. I'll stand back. <laughs> door knocker. Yeah, am I going to be all right, though? Get, uh, I don't know about that. Door knocker, gets punched, <laughs> door knocker gets punched in the face. Oh, thanks. Most likely. <laughs> oh, it's me, Auntie Mary. We've just sorted a kid out parking outside her house. <sighs> Hi, are you all right? Hi, Johnny. Yes, yeah, Auntie Mary. Are you OK? Yeah, fine. He's not been mad again, has he? Yeah, people put a lovely bunch of flowers round. A bunch of flowers? Yes. Right. Very nice, actually. Very, very nice man. Right. He, what, he's, he's not been funny? He's just been apologetic or, or what? Very apologetic and lovely, and it? You know, violence is still with the and he's been really nice. Okay. Really nice gentleman, actually. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, I'm me. I asked Sean for some help once with a troublesome neighbour. Six police cars, one ambulance, one right van later. No more trouble. Bye. She alright? Yeah, she's good as gold. Put some flowers round. There you go. Simple chat. Doesn't hurt anybody. Right, we're off then. Right, onto a repo. It shouldn't be anything too complicated. It's nothing what we haven't done before. If anything does kick off or they find her out of their depth, I'm always there to step in. Quite a nice house we've arrived at. Plenty of workmen on site. Obviously they're having some big renovations done. And on the drive, our Subaru. And now to find our man. Well, my man. All right, mate, Chris Warrington about? Uh, yeah, he's around right the back. All right, go on in, Lee. You, you take charge of that. I'll secure the vehicle. Hey, it's just back him up, mate. A little bit nervous, but excited. I've seen Sean do this time after time. One of you, Chris Warrington. Subaru driver. If it all goes to plan, I think I'll be fine, but I'm not sure I've been on any two repos that have been the same. So uh, that will be the test today. So uh, we're taking your car today. Just a tip off, mate. We've been everywhere trying to get you. We've been to your house, been to your mom's, been to a few places, and uh, we've had it on a good authorization you're here, which you are. And uh, we've got a note to take your car. Very much customers. I know, mate. Sorry about that. It's a bit embarrassing, I know. Um, but if you want to get your stuff out of the car, because we're taking it. We're not taking it. Got it, mate. We've uh, got a, a notification for it today, so it, it's got to go. So best thing for you to do is just go to your car, get your stuff out, or we'll stick it on the low loader, uh, and it's likely to get damaged that way, so you, you, you're best just getting your stuff. Come round to the car. Yeah. Well, that didn't go too bad, actually. Um, I think he's understand what the situation is, and he's heading over to his car now to get his stuff out. You got the keys with you? You right, having the keys? I'm not sure why I said it was a low loader that we've got out there when it's a spec lift. I think I might have given away a bit of nerves I had, but I think I got away with it. Well, you're not going anywhere, as you can see. Feels a bit weird securing the vehicle. Normally, I'm the one getting stuck in, but hey, it's nice to have a break. Three of you. Know what I mean? Coming on my bandy and that. No, no, pretty, sir. You start getting heavy on me and that. What do you mean start getting heavy, mate? Come for your car. You, you ain't having the fucking car. What are you saying for? It's my car. It's our car? It's not. You've got paperwork for it now. Well, I don't care what you're saying, it's how you go nowhere. It is, it's going? It's not. I'll go and get something then. What do you mean go and get something? Well, there's three of you. You want me to do it? Stand here, but empty handy. No, I expect you to empty your car. Oh, well, I'll go and get something then, eh? Alright, I'll take it. Don't there you go. Back out, champ. Mate, it's not the point. What are you going to get? You're going to damage your own car? For a minute there, I thought Lee was on a winner, on his first time as well. But I know what's coming there. So let's hope he can manage the situation. Here we go. Leave that alone. Whoa, 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 
I thought it was a bit optimistic to think that it was all going to go smoothly on my first repo, that I'd just get the keys and drive off. Now I've got the whole building team jumping all over me and H. Just stay down. And you... I could hear quite a bit of a scuffle going on. Good to see the job's going well. These guys here are all loving it, all joining in. I mean, we're on here for the Subaru right now. These guys just love to get involved. Someone's now you're rolling around here. Yeah. This ain't a fair one, bro. Mate, where are your keys? This is ridiculous. This is what you want. This is what you want. Fuck off there. Fuck off. You back off, back off. Back off. Back off. Let him go, H. I didn't really want to jump in, but they were outnumbered. Yes, I wanted Lee to learn, but I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Let's just take the car. You don't need to do H, just secure the car. Just secure the car. Thanks for taking it. Right, stop in here. I'm glad to see Sean has decided to step in at this stage and lend a hand. I've got H securing the car and uh, I'll get the keys. So where are they? Seriously, I haven't got them. I haven't got them on Mate, now. yeah, mate, find them, quickly. You and your boys. Me and you and your boys should pay your bills. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? You're, you're driving a spank, spanking car, but yeah. you can't afford to pay for it. Where are you going, Skippy? Yeah, well, yeah. This car belongs How to us. Find me? Thank you. Right. What's Lee doing? I told him to repossess the car, not the bloke. You pay, unless you pay what's owed on it. I don't know. You do. I don't. All right, we'll see. We just told you your car's up for repossession, mate. Do you want to empty it out? Seriously now. This is going. Is there anything you need in it? Yo. Is that, yes or no? Is that long enough? Take it. Let's take it. Is that long enough? Get in it, still. Enough is enough. All these dudes are doing is running at their mouth and just want to fight us at every corner. This dude isn't going to pay for the car. It's time to get it out of here. Mate! You really think you're going to get stuck here? Yeah. Tell me out. Mate! Get out of here! Tell him both of you now! Calm down! All right? You all got done and your car's still getting taken. Yeah. What is well, this? What you, you doing? Fuck off over there! You're the lads that will work hard all week and then go and piss another the fight car. in the car. You're on the car, let's go! Mad. Yeah. Mad, mad, mad. Got your jacket, you've got everything. Stay there. Right, the car is secured. I'm sat in there with the keys. I just need to get Sean to move his truck out of the way now. And I can drive off with my first successful repo. And it feels good. At the end of the day, I'm pleased with the outcome. It was really exciting, quite chaotic at times. But uh, I'm really, really pleased. I think it went really, really good. Could have gone better. The point on you, I wasn't going to get a break just yet, was when I saw Lee coming across the garden with a bloke on his shoulder. The eventful evening. All right, dude. Hey, mate, all right. You, you're alive still? <laughs> yeah. Not a scratch on the car, either. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's nice. Sounds beautiful. Nice great. Great. So now, do you think that went went for you then? Well, we got the car. So I think I think. Uh, We've seen better repos. Our initiation is um, is complete. Split the commission on this. Yeah, that's only fair, isn't it? He didn't do anything. Uh, you tell him. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you go. Good luck. I'm still trying to get danger man. Right, <laughs> go on. I'm you, part time. You, you get going. Nice car to repossess. The engine makes a beautiful sound. Really nice tone. Oh, mate, cheers again for me, me auntie. So no worries, mate. Class. No cheers. worries. Probably okay. like to take it for a spin around the block first, but I don't think Sean would uh, appreciate me driving it into a hedge somewhere, so I'll stay professional and bring it back. Can't start it. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> and you want commission? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, see you later, Lee. I broke it. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Lee. Yeah, see you later, mate. See ya. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Lee. <laughs> they booby trapped it. H.
See you later, mate. Go on. In your own time. <laughs>